Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer, and welcome back to another video on Oblivion. And today, I want to talk about um, kind of uh, one of the weapons that you can find in the store is called the Akaviri Warblade. Now, if you're a player like me, one of the w things that you never, ever, ever do is buy weapons from, you know, the retailers, right? Just at all. You never buy the weapons because you look at them and you're like, okay. It looks really cool, but first of all, it's expensive, which, I mean, if you played Oblivion, like, you kind of know that the price of things honestly doesn't matter, because eventually you just end up with infinite money. But, um, you look and you're like, uh, are these stats really going to be helpful? You know, is it really worth getting these these things? So, the Akaviri Warblade. It's a two-handed die katana, and... At least to me, I don't know statistically, but to me it feels like it swings faster than a normal claymore. I don't know if that's just me or if that's true or not, you know, so. But it just feels faster, which is definitely a plus, because, because for me, I think claymores are pretty fun to use. Um, so, you know, I like that a faster swinging claymore type weapon over something like heavier damage. And what it does is it damages health, fatigue, and magic. Now, I don't remember the stats offhand, uh, but it damages health, fatigue, and magic. So when you're using this weapon, um, you know, at first it kind of seems like it's just an all-purpose hit everything with this Akaviri Warblade, right? Um, and the damage health definitely helps it. Like, if you can get this weapon early, a 15 or 20, whichever one it is, damage health on the blade, that's a lot for an enchanted weapon. That's just a lot of damage, period. And you're going to be damaging the enemy's health, you know, with this weapon. So, very, very beneficial. Very nice to have. But I think, you know, the fatigue the fatigue is nice. Uh, I would say it's not really a necessary component to the sword. But the very, very big important thing here is the damage magic, okay? That's where I think this sword really does well is, you know, the health is nice because, well, a sword, especially late game, like, especially with swords, man, the, the damage buffs are very, very important, right? Like, the only reason why I like Umbra so much is it already has a high base damage and it does soul trap. But the Agaveri Warblade, <clears throat> if you use it, then you get the added benefit of this damage magic and this damage health. And damage magic is just so good. It's awesome against mages, you know? I just, it's so nice because, especially against the Conjurers, where, you know, Conjuration, it takes up a little bit more magic to cast, and at least to me, it seems like enemies, they really cast stuff at the same rate. At least to me, like, if you fight someone that uses Fireballs, or you fight someone that uses Conjuration, it really feels like they cast the spells at the same exact time. So that damage magic is really, really useful in damaging the enemies and, you know, getting their magic down. If, if you have silence, you know, silence is always better than damage magic, but if you need, like, kind of a quote, a poor man's silence, or, you know, a silence alternative because you maybe run out of soul gems, a soul trap, whatever the case may be, damage magic would be really nice, especially early game, you know. This sword, I don't think, is a very, very good one for late game. I mean, the character I used it on, his blade skill is really good, but his damage with it was just not up to par with something where like you take a Diedrich Claymore, right? You take the Diedrich Claymore and enchant the Diedrich Claymore with a Sigil Stone, you know, it's not not as good. So I definitely prefer using a Diedrich Claymore over something like this, but early game, where you're not gonna find silence, uh, the Akaviri Warblade, very good. Also, I don't know if I said this, which, I mean, I don't know where this part's gonna end up in the video, but you find the Akaviri Warblade um, in Jensen's Good as New merchandise. That is definitely where you find it. I totally forgot to say that. I'm thinking back now. I forgot to say that. So, guys, the Akaviri Warblade, uh, very good early game weapon. Not so good late game. If you have a late game character, I wouldn't necessarily give some thoughts about this weapon, but definitely early game. Give this weapon a shot. If you can get it, you got a sword, sword based character, go for it. Guys, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to leave me a comment. Have you used the Akaviri Warblade? Do you like it? Do you not like it? I mean, I can see where someone would definitely not like this weapon. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games. And I'll see you guys next episode, stream, vlog, or Instagram post of whatever I decide to make.